destroying the value proposition of Bitcoin, which mean you agree on, which is like it's censorship resistance. You mix. So, you mentioned pay join and mixing. Is there like some simple hygiene practices people can do today? Yeah, man. It's um, download Wasabi Wallet or Samurai Wallet. Um, if you're a merchant, if you're an entrepreneur, if you if you've got a website or something where you're you're selling products, you should set up your own BTC Pay server instance, um, and accept Bitcoin and ex, ex, you know turn on Pay Join. Pay Join is a great um, feature that allows you to do this David Chom style mixing with Bitcoin. So. You know, for people who don't 100% understand the way Bitcoin works, like if you got one Bitcoin in your wallet, it's most likely like 10 different UTXOs. And these UTXOs are like, like you know, think of them like like balls on an, on an, an abacus or whatever. Together, they make up one Bitcoin, but they're moving around and back, back and forth. That's what happens when you um, pay somebody with Bitcoin. You, you send the whole UTXO to that person with a return amount so if you got to pay if you got one bitcoin right a utxo of one bitcoin and you owe somebody 0.1 bitcoin it's actually a transaction that sends 0.1 to them and 0.9 back to you so pay join allows merchants to join in this pool of all these random people making transactions to find the utxos that are more efficient and fit together so you'll get a transaction back from someone else and it's really hard to follow the tr the the trail of, you know, it go it went in and it came back because it's going to go in, it's going to go to somebody else, and then theirs is going to come to you. So it's like a really smart way to obfuscate the the trail of UTXOs. Uh, Wasabi is a way to properly clean your Bitcoin. You know, you don't want to be leaving privacy leaks everywhere when you're using Bitcoin, so you can use Wasabi to like join these mixing rounds basically where like lots of people from all over the world are exchanging UTXOs with each other and you get them back in like 0.1 Bitcoin chunks. And if you're going to be using that, it's good for your privacy, but you got to be careful that you don't leak data in other ways. If you're really like, if you're in a, a place where you need to use mixing and you need this for your safety, then you don't want to mix a Bitcoin and then pay pay somebody with some Bitcoin that's tied to your identity and some of your mixed Bitcoin, some of your clean Bitcoin, because then you're just you're you're linking them together and they can just follow all the rest of your trails or whatever. So I, I'm a big fan of like encouraging people to go to like you know if they want to get some Bitcoin, bull Bitcoin does mixing by default. Like they clean their Bitcoin and give it to you. I like Giacomo Zucco's terminology there. A lot of people think like Bitcoin that was on Silk Road or that's used to buy drugs or whatever is dirty Bitcoin. But he looks at it like KYC linked to Bitcoin is dirty Bitcoin. Like <laughs> Clean your Bitcoin and clean off that dirty KYC linkage. Clean off all those privacy leaking trails. Run it through Wasabi or Samurai Wallet or PayJoin or something like that and destroy any of these leaks because these vultures these chain analysis vultures that will try to like dox anybody who's using bitcoin and identify who's using bitcoin and report it to the government or whoever they're reporting it to why le why let it be dirty right like in that way it's dirty like clean it up and you and make it nice and clean and fresh and have no links sure people will call it tainted because it'll be mixed with small UTXOs that are probably related to some sort of crime, like a, a, a drug purchase or whatever. But fungibility is one of the most important properties of a money. So there's more traces of cocaine on dollar bills than there is on Bitcoin. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that the dollar bill is worth less. So the more that people use fun, like mixing and and think about this as a way to protect the fungible properties of Bitcoin, the more valuable Bitcoin is and the more resistance we can put up when they try to like put these limits on Bitcoin. I think even the more simpler, you mentioned something interesting, like a lot of these wallets have built in features. It almost makes sense if the whole ecosystem by default has these features built into their services. Oh, I would love that, man. You're speaking my language. That's why I love bull Bitcoin. Like me and the owner of bull Bitcoin have gotten into it quite a bit online. 
and he called me like scum of the earth and shit like that because like <laughs> what uh, yeah man like he's a real activist kind of guy and i was re recommending people wear masks and he's like super against covid and he called me scum of the earth like because i was telling people to wear masks or whatever and so but regardless you know whatever people want to believe whatever people want to do it's their own prerogative but even even though I had like me and him have a personal vendetta, I, I don't really care to talk to him anymore. I mean, I, I I gladly sooner just make fun of him if I ever see him. But like, I 100% believe in what he's doing, and so I'll still recommend people go to his website and use his service, even though me and him don't get along anymore. <laughs> I still think it's an awesome spot for anybody who cares about privacy and who wants to acquire Bitcoin in a way that respects your privacy. Do you see more wallets like Wasabi and Samurai doing what they're doing? Uh, well, that's why PayJoin is exciting because BTC Pay Server was an alternative to BitPay. BitPay was the biggest, and they still are kind of the biggest payment processor for merchants to accept cryptocurrency. But they chose to go on the on the big block side in the 2017 fork war. You know, they they chose to support the Segwit2x version of Bitcoin, which was the corporate minor version of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, it was like, that was the moment when somebody, one of the Bitcoiners decided that, we're, you know, this is not right. This is not why Bitcoin was created. So we're going to create an alternative. So they created BTC pay server and it allows anybody to accept their own Bitcoin payments. Any merchant, any entrepreneur who wants to accept Bitcoin can use BTC pay server. And now they support this mixing thing. So yeah, man, it's a, it's a growing trend for sure. And even ETH yeah. has that with tornado cash. Great service. Yeah. Hopefully other wallets can incorporate that natively within their UI I would, UX. Oh man, I would love to see that. All the wallets. It would be great to see all the wallets doing that.